What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 96 headliner Lewandowski that has been upgraded twice over the 94 and I tell you what, it looks pretty decent. Now, you guys did hit 200 likes on that team of the week moments Lewandowski, which I did tell you guys I will release before Friday, if you guys hit 200 likes before Friday, and you guys absolutely smashed it, and I'm more than grateful, but let's get straight into it. 96 overall, 88 pace, 93 dribbling, 97 shooting, 90 physical, and 87 passing. We already know what this guy's about. He's an absolute beast on the ball, and his off-ball movement, movement is one of the best I've ever seen. Six foot his dribbling is all good so he's six foot like he's six foot high he's not going to matter too much the high medium is the perfect work rate for a striker four star skill moves the bow spin hands down my favorite skill move with him the four star weak foot is obviously going to allow me to cut onto that left foot and obviously shoot with it now this card was going for 950k how has it risen to 1.1 mil all of a sudden when it's overnight? I have no idea, but I picked, up, I picked him up either way. Now, he is on an engine chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 93 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast and will be outpacing center backside. There is no tomorrow. 99 attack and positioning, 98 finishing, and 97 shot power. Please, for the love of God... Do not use a chem style that boosts his shooting because it's clear of day he does not need it. Outside foot shot trait, finesse shot trait, chip shot trait. It is very rare to find someone with all three traits and that's what makes Lewandowski the ultimate striker in front of the net. 93 long shots, 98 volleys and 95 penalties as well. He's got 95 vision, 77 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 86 long passing and 90 curve. And when I played this guy with his team in the group stage card back in the day, and I got multiple like 30 and 0, so that's top 100 with this guy, I played him in a cam role simply because his passing was out of this world. I could literally pass no matter where or how, it would still get there at the end. And that is one thing I've always loved. And you can honestly play this card in a cam role if you really want to. 90 agility, 99 balance, 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 94 composure. A six-foot player to have 90 agility with 99 balance? I don't think that's... I, well, I can argue it's never been done, but a six-foot-two player called CR7 has a team of the year card. That's, you know, he's got pretty decent agility stats. But at the end of the day, six foot... And with those dribbling stats, you just don't see it very often. He's going to be very calm and composed on the ball. A person that's going to keep this team very composed and kind of play his own style. 92 jumping, 99 heading actually, 6 foot, oh, as I said, 6 foot 2 and below. I don't think he'll be going any higher than that as far as I know. But I tell you what, I will be trying a few near post corners, corners on this guy because that 99 heading accuracy... It's looking pretty decent. 85 stamina now. The 94, if I remember correctly, has 83. And that didn't last throughout the whole 90 minutes. So that was a bit disappointing. But I do believe plus 2 stamina might actually help him throughout the 90 minutes. 92 strength is always nice because he's going to be causing centre-backs a lot of problem with the 88 aggression as well. Now, today I have linked him up with Cordoba, McKenney, and S. Vine. I've also got the likes of Sancho, Bellarabi, and Zambrotte in the team. I will be using Lewandowski in a 4-4-2, playing him up front with Sancho. But I also want to try Lewandowski in that lone striker role, which I know he's amazing at. But I want to try him anyway there. So it's going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone is on the ball. And I can tell you what, this Lewandowski feels much better than the 94 just standing on the spot. Oh my god, that was a pretty decent long shot to be fair to him. I didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere on target. I didn't really have any attention of this actually even going into the back of the net. But I tell you what, it's a pretty decent hit. Nice little cutback from Lewandowski. Going to fake shot up. Ball roll. Bring, bring it back onto his right foot. Oh, now I understand it was a very far distance to be fair. But I had to, I had to create that chance and that's exactly what he did. He kept it very, very close to his feet and that's always nice to see. Now, we do have a little near post header here. Let's see if I can get it on him. I'm not the greatest at this, I must admit. But it is on him, to be fair. He does win it, but just, you know, it's never going to go in with that amount of power. Let's all be fair. 
Come on, Lewandowski. You're fast enough. I know you are. Brilliant strength. Oh, come on. I couldn't fully get around him. And that was the biggest problem, to be fair. But I tell you what, it was unbelievable strength from him. But it was just a poor touch after that. He'll turn heel to heel. Should be a finish. Oh, my God. Now, you could obviously argue I should have gone, you should have gone a bit forward, you know, took a few more touches. But at the end of the day, I thought, you know, it's an Lewandowski at the end. He's got amazing finishing. Why not just take a random shot of him and see if it goes in? Lewandowski on the ball. Little fake shot. It should be a goal. And yes, it is. Lewandowski showing why he's so clinical in front of the net. A beautiful fake shot and an amazing angle just to get like a, a low driven. Even though I did power it, it's just because how good his shooting is. He kind of decides if it's a low driven or not. And he's obviously chose the right shot. Oh my god, oh my god, that was so beautiful. It went to McKenney, and I didn't really want the ball there with McKenney. So I did a little A pass towards Lewandowski, which was obviously beautiful. He took a really nice touch. That little scoop turn sent my opponent completely the wrong way. Hold up a second, we might actually have a chance to score here. Absolute sending my opponent, sending my player once again, and we do. We get a left footed finesse shot. But let's go back to the first chance. He did really well, like on the ball. It was a very like reactive kind of touch. He didn't take, he didn't, you know, do one of those touches where he saw it late, then all of a sudden it's a bad one. No, he de he stopped it dead on. Did a little scoop turn to the left. I kind of was hoping it was a better shot, but I kind of understand the angle he was in, and it didn't really go on target, which is obviously disappointing. But he does recover, he does recover really well with that shot. Nice, that is beautiful. Touch, finish, can I get it? Yes, I can. It's as simple as that. A little over top through ball, who, I think it was Neymar. That's what I'm starting to think. I, I think it was Neymar that did it over the top. I'm not 100% though. But Lewandowski, beautiful touch. An amazing run from him once again. And what a finish it was. Nice, good turn, come on. Little fake shot round the corner, beautiful acceleration. Can I get a wide open pass? Yes, I can, just like that. We go 4-2 up, beautiful dribbling from Lewandowski once again. That little fake shot round the corner, I was just waiting for like the perfect angle to obviously do it. Give him that little acceleration boost, and after that, it was just him being calm and composed down that line. Little turn, heel to heel. Can I get an across goal shot? Come on, Lewandowski. I don't know, even know what's happening right now. I had the ball, I've lost the ball. God knows. But that needs to be a better finish. Maybe I could be obviously more calm and composed there and probably take a shot, you know, a bit more near post, probably. That is nice though. Near post finish. Yes, I can get it just like that. We do have our first goal with Levin. Nice. Lewandowski on the ball. Takes terrible touches. Look at this. This is the gameplay I'm playing in right now. Like, I can't get anything right. It's so, so bad. The turning, the delay. Oh, this game. So it is time to review and let me say the gameplay that I am playing in right now is the worst gameplay I have ever seen in my entire life. No one can move. No one can do anything. But at least Lewandowski can finish still inside the box for example Cordoba felt very clunky Sancho felt clunky Bellarabi felt clunky only player that was feeling pretty decent was Lewandowski and even that sometimes he was taking bad touches so it's really really annoying that the gameplay is so bad but I'm just gonna have to deal with it it's simple as that five games played four goals one assist six foot wasn't a problem at all it felt very agile on the ball felt way more agile than a 94 and that is something I didn't expect I expected this 96 and 94 to feel low-key the same but this one feels much better the high medium work rate still being amazing he's positioned himself really well inside the box and outside the four star skill moves Berber spin hands down my favorite skill move still the four star weak foot I would say it felt like a four star. I wouldn't go to the extent of saying it felt like a five star. And if Lewandowski had a five star, <laughs> it's game over pretty much. Now, pace wise, he is really, really fast. And those fake shots around the corners is really nice as well because he uses his strength while he's at it. Shooting amazing inside the box all the clear-cut chances pretty much went in there was some angles that I was trying like some new angles that I was trying and in a way it just hit post or something like that. So for me, at this point of FIFA, 
The only player that's really, really impressed me with his shooting has been that foot birthday Mbappe card. Other than that, I can't say one, and t probably team leader Ronaldo, I can't say one other person has anywhere near the state of finishing them to have. Even with 98 finishing and 97 shot power, I still don't believe it even comes close to what Mbappe was doing on that pitch. But anyway, finishing wise, Lewandowski does uh, finish the clear cut chances and the 50 50 chances. I feel like it was more of like a 70 30, 70% 70 obviously it going into the back of the net. Now, passing wise is the reason I use him in a cam position simply because his passing is outstanding. A little one twos, a little give and goes, the over top through balls. He is pretty much the heart of the team. Now, dribbling, even in bad gameplay, which I was playing in, this guy still felt really good on the ball. Yeah, there was that at certain occasions where he was taking bad touches, but they didn't come very often as much as like other players on my team. And I was low-key getting a bit annoyed, but we calmed down a little bit. Now, stamina-wise, he did last throughout the whole game. And that is, that's like the big difference between 83 stamina and 85. 85 stamina can last throughout the whole 90 minutes, while 83 can only last up to like the 80th minute. And that is quite annoying, saying that it's only two stamina. Now, strength-wise, really, really... Like, like strong in the ball, shielding off a lot of players as well, causing a lot of centre-backs problems. Aggression, he was fighting fi fighting back for the ball and winning a lot of 50-50s. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10, and I believe I gave the 94 a 9.5 out of 10, if I remember correctly. I feel like this card is 100% a 10 out of 10 player if you are playing in good gameplay. If you're playing in bad gameplay, he's more of a 9 out of 10 than anything. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.